Hello and welcome to Old Ways Gardening and Prepping. My name is Teresa. I would like to welcome you into our kitchen on this chilly evening, y'all. Man, it's been cold. I have been looking forward to this night. And we're going to make some pearly, everlasting, infused oil. Yes, I said that. Long tongue twister. So, what I'm going to be doing is infusing the oil. So, in another video to come, we will be making pearly, everlasting salve. A lot of people do not know that. And, of course, I'll have more information in the description box below. Pearly Everlasting is a wound healer. It forces wounds to close faster. It works for rash, um, splinters. It's a rheumatoid arthritis rub, inflammation, uh, so many wonderful things. It's antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory. It works wonders for edema as well. So, with that being said, now, of course, like I said, more information, description box below the video. Let's get started here. Now, I'm making a big batch. You do not have to make a big batch, and not everybody has the machine that I was blessed with. And I will go into detail about how to use a double boiler to make this infused oil as well. Now, here I have the Alpha 420. Uh, might as well say it, Magic Butter Machine, but it's also for making infused oils. I choose to use it for herbal oil making. So... Believe it or not, y'all, this is two ounces of pearly everlasting. It pretty much weighs next to nothing when it's dry. And over here for the batch that I'm making, five cups of olive oil. You can use avocado oil, castor oil, whichever oil you want to. I like olive oil because it's one of the oldest used oils for medicinal purposes. And I do not use extra virgin olive oil because having an extra virgin is expensive. Inside joke on that one. But it doesn't have as long of a shelf life as just regular olive oil. Now, of course, read your labels of your olive oil and make sure that olive oil is the only ingredient in that container. So, with that being said, I'm going to gently, well, I tried to do gently, take my lid off, set it over here, I'm going to put this right here, and I'm going to put all of this down into here. Now, do not worry. Whew, watch out. I'm telling you, those blooms will get you. They are like fuzz, floating fuzz. Now, the good thing about this infused oil maker this will pulverize all of this plant material in here so it's going to go down in size and all of it yes will be infused okay got my don't miss it i got my oil in there i mean my pearly everlasting and now I'm going to add the five cups of olive oil
now the way I do the infused oil in here you use a half an ounce or a little bit less per cup of oil what I love love about this machine is it makes some very intense infused oil very strong infused oil another good thing about this machine you don't have to stir it you don't have to worry about the temperature everything is set it stays to true to temperature let's see i'm gonna check my line of oil Where is the line? It's hiding from me because of all the pearly everlasting. I can get away with adding a little bit more oil. Still going down. Okay. I am to the oil level now because Pearly Everlasting is dry and it's going to suck up all the oil. But by the time the oil is done infusing, That oil will come back out of the plant. You want to make sure your lid is on there very well. And I'm going to have to, let's see, wipe the side off. And I got my fingers on it with oil on them. I'm going to have to lift this back up. Bring this out. Make a well in the center so the blade can go down. There we go. There we go. Now the lid is completely down. Now we'll want to plug it in. Beep. Okay. You can choose oil, butter, or tincture. I'm going for oil. It will automatically do an hour. That's all you need for it to make infused oil so with that being said and it's automatically going to be 160 degrees it keeps temperature perfect and it times itself and it beeps when it's done so all I have to do now is push the button and it will start here in a bit now, in the beginning, it's going to be really loud because it's chopping up the pearly everlasting or whatever herb that you have inside. It takes it a little bit. And you have to be very careful as time goes on this machine gets really hot so don't touch it there we go
and then it'll stop. Then it'll do it again. And I will bring you back as soon as this is done. See y'all here in a little bit. Okay, the oil is finally infused. I decided to let it run an extra 30 minutes. So it has infused for an hour and 30 minutes. Yes, using this machine, that is way enough time. Doing it the old fashioned way, no, an hour 30 is not enough time. Because doing it with the double boiler on low or a crock pot on keeping warm on the setting warm it's going to take longer in the crock pot but you can do it that way you want to cook it well slowly heat it until the plant material is transparent that way all you know all the life force of the plant material has been sucked out of the plant material now i have at i'll have at the end of this video uh my closing uh section segment of the video and there'll be a link to my infused oils and salve making playlists if you need extra information there are plenty of videos in that playlist that shows you how to do it using a double boiler so now let's get busy straining the oil and i am so happy to have this pearly everlasting oil now as always vitamin e oil preservative all natural this is organic soy free this is made from, if I remember right, sunflower seeds. It can be found. I will have the link in the description box below the video for the link to this oil. I am not an affiliate. I'm not going to make any money. Just trying to help everybody. In this jar, I'm going to want a tablespoon of the vitamin E oil. If you don't have the liquid vitamin E oil, you can also use liquid gel caps and just snip them And squeeze the vitamin E oil out and discard the gelatin caps. You can put them in your compost pile. Okay. You're going to need a funnel. You're also going to need one of these. Or you could use cheesecloth, but it's going to soak up so much of your oil. Using these, you lose no oil. And it is a filterless coffee filter. All right, I'm going to unplug the machine. I'm going to gently pull the lid off. I have let it sit for a while because this machine, this oil is, it's cooler than it was, let's just say. Oops. And I'm going to set it right there so it can drip onto the plate. And I will gather that after a while. You're going to want a spatula as well. So, uh oh, I take the cord off. Set that aside. And you can see it absolutely pulverized the pearly everlasting there's a few pieces it missed but that's okay 
and you're going to want to have a paper towel to wipe your mess with. And you're just going to let it strain through. And I knew I forgot something. Hold on. Okay, as I squeeze as much of the oil out of the plant material, there's still going to be oil trapped in the plant material, no matter what you try to do. I have a colander and a bowl. I'm going to put the mushed plant material in that so it can continue to seep and drain. And I can mush it in this because it won't let the plant material through. Okay, it's not dripping anymore, so it can drip through the colander over here. And I'm just going to keep working the plant material. I hid my paper towel. Look at that beautiful color. This is going to be some really good, strong, infused oil. And it's going to make some amazing salve. And you want to do it while it's still warm so the oil flows easier. While the oil is still warm, <clears throat> the oil is thinner and it will strain better. It will press out easier. And of course, once you are certain that you get all the oil out of the plant material, you can put this into your compost pile. And you don't have to make as big a batches as I do. Like I said, I always make the big batches because I make salves to sell. Trying to heal as many people as possible. And of course, it's for those who don't want to make the infused salve or infused oil or the salve and of course you can always make smaller batches in the infused oil maker And of course, this is a half a gallon jar. I 
I, I'm going to continue to press <coughs> and squeeze as much oil as I possibly can. And as soon as I'm done, I will bring you all right back. All right, I have it drained, uh, strained, and I have mushed the plant material so much that I didn't even get any more drops out of it. Now, it is still warm. Make sure before you start messing with the jar, once you're done straining it, wash your hands very well with warm, soapy water. Because you don't want your jar slipping out of your hand. You're going to want to tighten the lid down real good. Make sure that vitamin E oil is mixed throughout the infused oil. And I know a lot of people don't understand. Yes, I've got vitamin E oil in the infused oil. And yes, I add more vitamin E oil into it when I make the salve. Because I want to make sure that it's, this is shelf stable. I want to make sure the salve is shelf stable. And it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, now, Sharpie marker. Pearly. Everlasting oil. I automatically know it's infused oil, so I don't like to infuse. I made this 10 24, month of October, year 24. Because I'm not worried about this down to the exact day because. I have a bunch of salves to make. I made a hair over, looks like six cups. I am happy as can be. That means hair over six batches of pearly everlasting salve, which is coming up in another video. Got to make the infused oil before you can make the salve. But look at how dark, rich, and intense this infused oil is. This oil is saturated with the pearly everlasting like it's supposed to be. Now you're going to set it aside, let it cool. And you're going to store it in a cool, dark area. I'm not worried about shelf life on this one. Because it's not going to be around in a jar for long. Because I've got to make a bunch of salve with it. Now, yes, I end up having to make smaller batches of the infused oil doing it this way. But it's nice to... it's. A blessing to have this machine because I can put everything in it I can start it I can walk away I don't have to worry about it and I can take care of junior do housework do whatever and like I said I have a playlist of doing infused oils this way and using the double boiler which the double boiler takes a whole lot of longer. You have to watch the water. You have to watch the heat. And you have to watch the temp on your oil. This way, I don't have to worry about it. Everything's done. But I will be going back to showing people how to do infused oil the old way. But there's plenty of videos for those to watch. If you do not have this machine, which I know not everybody has this machine. I was just extremely blessed by Angela to have this machine. And I cannot say thank you enough still for it. I hope this video encourages you to make your own infused oils so you can make your salves. 
Now, yes, in the salve video, I'll show you how to make your own. And yes, I will have the salves for sale once they are done. It's going to be about a day before I make the video. Everyone, take care. Stay safe and sound out there. It's getting crazy, y'all. And above all else, believe in yourself. You, If I can do this, you can do it as well. You have to believe in yourself. Have the ingredients to do it well. Simple, easy, homemade, y'all. All right, continue to stock your pantries with food that will nourish and sustain you. <coughs> Excuse me. Medicinals that will heal you. Protection of all kinds and above all else, the bare essentials to survive on. Everyone, take care. I look forward to seeing you in my next video, and may you each be blessed. Love y'all. Hoot hoot. I'll see you soon.